Welcome to Survival Preparedness. How's everybody doing today? It's Friday here in Florida. This morning it was a little on the chilly side. When I got up this morning about 6, it was uh, 43 degrees and the wind chill was uh, 39. By Florida standards, that's cold. Uh, warming up nice now. Uh, we're up to uh, about 59 degrees, 60. Sun's out, not a cloud in the sky. That's a, kind of the nice thing about Florida. You can have cool mornings, but as long as you have sunshine, warms up pretty quick. Got my coffee, so I'm pretty good to go. Uh, I had my physical therapy this morning for my, my leg that I'm recovering from, but uh, uh, right now it feels pretty good. I've been stretched out. So I just want to come to you guys real quick this morning and just talk about a couple of things that's going on. Uh, first thing is, is uh, stop the panic. Everybody's panicking big time. And uh, uh, yes, it is something to be concerned about and that we need to plan for. And, um, but this uh, uh, panic buying is a, uh, a bad thing to get into. Uh, as far as um, as I saw this morning uh, when I was having my coffee um, on Facebook, a lot of my friends and family have posted where they've gone to the grocery stores yesterday after the president had his uh, his uh, uh, press conference, and then the CDC got involved and everything else, and uh, you know people were running to the stores and buying up all the non-perishable goods and. Uh, emergency supply kits and uh, masks and all this kind of stuff. Uh, uh, one person even actually posted that you know they had a big sign right on the front when you were walking in. You know they didn't have any masks or uh, rubber gloves available in stock. Um, <clears throat> the the one bad thing about this whole situation is is something I've been saying. All along in all my videos since I started my channel is is uh, the reason uh, you don't want to get in this situation is is to be prepared which means you, do, you can do it a little bit at a time so you're not stuck into a, um, a situation like this um, that's why I I've been doing prepping uh, a lot of people out there are preppers um, they have a whole you know a lot more than what I do, you know. Um, I mean, I have a good, adequate supply, but uh, it's also based on, like I've said in my videos and everything, is, you know, your space and availability to, you know, store the products properly. Um, I don't have a lot of space, so I kind of, you know, I do what I can do and, and uh, keep my stock rotated and, you know, you take it from there. You know, a lot of people get the advantages of having like a, a basement or a cellar or something like that or a big extra room in their house that uh, they have turned into, you know, a storage area. <clears throat> um, but, you know, with prepping, you know, a lot of people think that, you know, those kind of people are just crazy and everything else. But what happens is, is if, you know, you're a prepper, uh, you avoid this whole uh, panic by um, having to deal with massive crowds and uh, you know I'm sure if something does majorly happen and which in which case I hope that I am totally wrong and um, you know this uh, the our government can either keep it quarantined to certain areas and um, you know under control um, that you know it doesn't really affect too many people. Um, I think we're more well equipped to handle it than uh, what uh, China has been doing. Um, I do think that we, you know, we probably have better doctors and a better setup and a better system in uh, keeping it quarantined to certain areas. But in the same token and in the same breath of me saying that, the one issue that we still have that is unknown um, when this virus, um, well actually we're going to call this the bug, um, and I got that from uh, 
uh, one of the guys that I watch, uh, Central Florida Prepper, uh, he calls it the bug. Um, I don't know, with YouTube and stuff, you know, they get uh, a little leery about things you say on here. Uh, so we're going to call it the bug. But, you know, with the bug, um, you know, everybody, it seemed like yesterday, all of a sudden, once everything finally hit the major news, all the news networks, every channel, not, doesn't matter which one you watch, um, doesn't matter, uh, you know, this has nothing to do with uh, if you're a Republican, Democrat, Libertarian, whatever you are, um, uh, this has to do with uh, your survival and uh, who you really want to put your trust in uh, as far as taking care of you if something does happen. Uh, as far as for me and my family and my household, I rely on myself and try to make sure that I have my, uh, my preps done, uh, any survival that, that I need, uh, supplies, um, and that thing. I don't rely on anyone else. Uh, I take that in my own hands. Uh, so if something happens and uh, the bug does uh, spread freely throughout this country, um, which I'm hoping I'm wrong, you know, um, you know, I'm prepared. I'm hoping people out there get prepared. Um, if you have been following my videos and stuff and have listened to what I've had to say, that's what I've been talking about all along is to be prepared for any type of a natural disaster or something that you can't control. And the bug is something we can't control. Uh, you have all these scientists and stuff from like John Hopkins and and all over there that are working around the clock trying to figure out a, a vaccination for this thing. Um, and even once they do do that, uh, it's going to take them a while to uh, mass produce that. Then you got to get it to all the different countries. Um, so it's not something that's going to happen overnight, even if they do come up with a vaccination for this. Uh, I saw also on the news where, uh, you know, people were buying up like all the cold medicines and uh, all this kind of stuff. Um, <clears throat> more than likely, it probably won't help. You know, it might maybe take away, uh, help ease some of the symptoms as far as, uh, you know, if you had a fever, um, stuffy head, whatever. Um, but... Uh, you know, I, I don't know if I, I would waste the money on it, you know, maybe buy, you know, something to help maybe keep you comfortable, maybe. Um, but like the, there's no proven fact that any of that's going to actually treat this and, and get rid of it. Um, uh, as far as people uh, running into the stores and uh, buying up all the products and stuff and, you know, non-perishable and water and all this um, it's things that you probably should already have on hand, so you're, you're not doing that. Um, you know, in history has uh, taught us um, if people would actually go back and really think about it, of, you know, all these big diseases that have happened over, you know, hundreds of years. Um, you know, Mother Nature has her own way of uh, uh, cleaning things up, if you want to put it that way. And uh, this could just be another one of those um, things that Mother Nature has uh, decided to um, impose on us as a challenge. And um, I'm sure at some point they will come up with a vaccination for it, just like they have over all the years for different diseases and um, get it under control. Um, I'm. I saw and did see on the news where they did, the CDC did confirm that the one case uh, in California um, was transmitted from person to person and that person did not uh, or has not traveled out of this country. Um, so that takes us back to, you know, when this virus first started uh, back in December. Uh, it was quite a while before they actually uh, cut off 
uh, people traveling in and out of the country uh, over in China. So if you figure in, you know, the 14-day period, they say that, you know, uh, that the, uh, the bug can come out if you have it. And all those people that have, you know, uh, traveled, uh, rather on vacation, business, or whatever, from country to country, um, not just, you know, the United States is involved here, all the countries are involved in this. Um, you know, it, it's kind of a, a no-brainer that it could already been transmitted over here before things were put, you know, stopped. So now it's kind of like a wait-and-see game. We just have to sit back and wait and see what happens. Um, you know, they're still going on a theory that they're hoping that when summertime gets here, that, you know, it'll kill this bug off and uh, uh, they won't have to worry about it anymore. Uh, the, other, the other thing is, is if you have a 401k, don't even look at it. Don't even look at it. Because if you do, you're probably going to have a heart attack and fall on the floor and die when you look and see how much money you've lost this week. Um, uh, this morning when I got up at 6 o'clock, you know, it was already down uh, 280 points. I don't know what it is right now. I didn't look before I did this video, um, but I'm sure it's down because um, it was already trending that, that way. Same with the S&P 500 and, and everything was down. Um, I did go online this morning. Um, I checked out some of the different sites, uh, websites and stuff. It seems like a lot of people have a lot of products still available. So if people are looking for like freeze dries, food, um, MREs, if you're looking for masks, uh, that kind of stuff. A Amazon had, um, still had a ton of it. Um, uh, if it's something you want to stock up on. Uh, the downside, if you go with the freeze-dried foods, is yes, they do cost a lot more money. Um, but in the long run, if it's something that you're looking to have on hand, uh, a lot of them all last between 25 and 30 years. So you make an investment now, and you know for the next 25 to 30 years, uh, you always have it for any type of emergency. Um, whereas in like canned goods and stuff like that, you know, they have a shelf life. Uh, usually, uh, your sell-by dates are, you know, two, three years out. Uh, some some of your canned meats and stuff are four to five years out. And the product is still good after that as long as you can keep it, you know, uh, stored in a, a nice controlled climate. Uh, and make sure that it's dry and uh, the cans don't get rusty or anything like that. Then it, don't ever buy dented cans. Uh, I've done videos on all this stuff. Uh, you can go back and look. Um, the the um, biggest thing that I just wanted to get across today is, is everybody just needs to take a step back, take a deep breath, and before you go rushing to the store, spending your whole paycheck on trying to buy uh, products, uh, make sure you take an inventory of what's already in your house. You know, I mean, if you already have, you know, quite a bit of, you know, a good stockpile of certain things and whatever else, um, you know, don't be buying the same stuff. Uh, you know, if you need one, pick up an extra cases of water. Uh, I would suggest um, possibly, you know, you can get them online. You can also buy them at Walmart. They're pretty cheap. You, you know, the, the big water jugs, um, you know, the five gallon uh, I think they're going to run you between like 12 and 20 bucks, somewhere in there, because um, you can always fill those up. Um, Amazon sells what they call a bathtub bladder, and basically you take and put that inside your bathtub. It has a hose that hooks up to your faucet in your bathtub, and you can fill that up and then seal it and you can store water in that if you want to do something like that and i don't remember the price off the top of my head but it really wasn't that expensive um just throwing some ideas out there for people um but you know the biggest thing is is everybody just calm down take a deep breath and uh let's hope that this thing is uh uh, the government actually can do their job and keep this thing contained and uh, stay on top of it. Um, 
I personally believe, in my own opinion, that they've already passed um, the time to where they could have really controlled this. Um, as soon as this thing hit over in China, my thought was is all flights and travels should have been completely cut off. Nobody was we would be allowed to leave those areas at all, not even to transport in and out if you wanted to walk or anything. Um, they should have just shut it all down and contained it to right there. Um, but unfortunately, they didn't do that until quite a few weeks after this has already started. So that's probably why um, I believe that um, you're going to see it pop up even worse. Um, but, you know, we all just have to kind of like stick together. You know, I mean, help out your friends and your family, you know, if... Uh, if you have the preps and everything else and uh, maybe somebody in your family or if you're close friends or whatever neighbor, you know, maybe they don't have the money to step up and do something. So if something happens, you know, take care of your, your friends and your family, you know, and, and you know, we got to take care of each other. Uh, the, the biggest thing is um, you want to just make sure that uh, we're all doing the right thing. Um, you know, I mean, if you have more than enough food, there's no reason why you can't uh, help someone else out. You know, we're all in this boat together. I've said this, I don't know how many times. And uh, if we all work together, we'll get through it. If we're all divided, she's going to sink. So, on that note, I just wanted to bring you a little video this morning. And uh, just, just talk about that, just to reassure people to, you know... Stay calm and uh, um, take a deep breath and really think about if you're going to make investments in things, make sure you make smart buys and um, just don't go crazy. Um, you want to make sure, like I said, you know, that you do have some supplies and stuff in the house, uh, but don't break the bank over it, you know. Um, uh, one thing I would suggest is is getting some cash. Uh, make sure you have uh, cash on hand, um, uh, especially the way the stock market's going. Uh, who's this, you know? Because with the whole thing with China, um, it's putting a hurting on the whole uh, global economy here, and um, you don't know what. You, nobody knows where this is going. Um, we're in uncharted territory here, so it's it's kind of like flipping a coin. What's going to happen? Um, so if you have, you know, if you have an emergency fund in the bank and say you got 500 bucks in there, personally, I'd just go get the $500 out of the bank, put it in your house, hide it in the house someplace. You know, if you have a, um, you know, a, a security box or something, lock it up that in your house or, you know, hide it someplace. And, uh, once this thing passes then put the money back in there, um, this way here that you do have some cash in case something happens and. We, we don't know where we're going with this. We have no idea. We, you know, the government's not so sure. You know, they keep reinsuring us that, you know, everything's going to be fine and all this. And uh, we've all heard that one before. Um, so uh, I don't put a lot of highly faith in the government, um, uh, especially to take care of me. Uh, I'll take care of myself and I'll fall back on the government if that's a last resort. Um, so on that note, everybody stay safe out there. Make sure you, you keep a calm, cool, and collected state of mind. Uh, stay positive, take a deep breath, and we'll all get through this together. So until next time, I'll catch you on the flip side.